Hi, my name's Joe, and this is Solo, and we're educators here at the Pearlstone Center on traditional Susquehanna and Piscataway lands. And we're here to tell you about just a few herbs and medicines that you can find in your backyard during this time. So come on over here, and we're going to check out this really cool plant right here. As you can see, this plant is a pine tree, and we're going to show you how to identify this tree. And this is a particular type of pine called white pine. And how you identify white pine is it has needles and usually if you take a needle cluster it'll have one, two, three, four, five. And what's great about this um, pine and this time especially of COVID-19 is it makes a tea that's really high in vitamin C. In fact it has five times the vitamin C freshly squeezed lemons have. But what's also great about white pine is that it's really high in calcium and other pine trees don't have that like the white pine. So how you would make a tea out of this pine is you would come over here and you would grab probably a handful of pine needles and I'm going to use these in a little bit to make a tea so you don't want to hurt a tree unless you're going to use something and um, and so I'm going to get a handful of white pine needles about this big and I am going to boil some water and um, then after the water stops boiling I'm going to dump it on the pine needles and I'm going to let it steep for about 15 minutes and you definitely don't want to boil the needles because it destroys the vitamin C and some of the other um, medicinal qualities of these needles. Now why this tree was so important and to traditional cultures here is you can see this bark over here um, and this is one of my um, forest school classes favorites. Um, when these trees were cut down when they were about a foot bigger if there were too many that were too close to each other you could remove one and it would help the other trees. You can take the inner bark and you can cook them in oil in a pot on, um, on a fire and the inner bark um, is high in inulin and it um, tastes like potato chips and it's a really good uh, winter forage food. If you want to find more about white pine you can do a little research online and you'll find out all sorts of amazing uses for this plant and while we're in our backyard right now we're going to come and look at a few more plants that we have here um, that you'll find growing in your backyard and this here is a superfood. So everyone's heard about goji berries and they're the biggest superfood. Well these plants make goji berries look like lucky charms. So this plant is something really common in your backyard and it is called wild onion or onion grass. And this is a favorite among kids. Um, and these shoots are superfoods. They're much higher in micronutrients than any other organic onion you're going to find. The uh, green onions you buy at grocery stores are also very similar. Um, they're a superfood as well. but. The nutrients in this is what you're going to get the same nutrients in a green onion. It's just concentrated down more. So this plant um, not only tastes great, but it's also a superfood that you can have out here in your lawn. And so I suggest you pick some and mix it with your salads or just eat it raw. You can enjoy. It's great. Okay, moving one foot over, we have come down here to our next plant. And this is also a superfood. And this is called Pennsylvania Bittercress. And bitter cresses come up all over the United States. They have many look-alikes, but there are other um, bitter cresses. So you don't have any fear about trying to eat these. Um, this is also a great food. And uh, I don't think I'll have breakfast this morning. This is some good stuff. Now we're going to move over two more inches. You can see your backyard's pretty he healthy and full. This plant here is called um, white clover. And this is a good blood tonic and, um, and it's a good blood cleaner for your blood. And um, this is a food that native people traditionally ate f um, for a long time. And after winter, after you finished all your meat stores and you were running out of food, this food was eaten um, when your food, because uh, it was one of the first to come up and it swells to twice its size inside your belly. So you can remember what it's like to have a full belly. But one of the great things about medicinal plants or edible plants is um, the micronutrients you get in them. And you're not going to get these micronutrients even in organic foods, especially because you're eating these foods much fresher than um, buying them from the store. So when you learn to spend time in the woods, you have to learn to like to taste bitter and sour. But so far, none of these plants I've shown you are really bitter or sour. So this makes this a great edible plant to eat in the wild. So enjoy.